Brooke Chavez here with Star Watch Media, and we're at the premiere of the film For the Love of Money at the Writers Guild of America Theater right here in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about your role in the film? I, uh, it's interesting. I get the crap beat out of me uh, in the film by Richard Gunn and Oded. So, uh, so it was uh, just uh, a lot of blood packs and um, uh, you know, fake bruising and uh, tears in the eyes and sort of, uh, it's interesting, I've never been beat up that much. Did you enjoy it? I kind of did, which is weird. <laughs> I could see that, that about you. What does that mean? You're a glutton for punishment. I'm a glutton. I'm a glutton. How did you prepare for that? <laughs> you don't prepare for anything. I think you're just there and you're in the moment and if you're not, you know, you suck and you know, you move on to the next project. There's no way to prepare. Just be there. That's you know, my, my son asked me that. He goes, well, you know, you got to know your lines, but hopefully they're, they'll allow a little bit of improv so you can loosen up. and Just be in the moment. Just be in the moment, yeah. To all those actors out there. Oh, yeah. Just, sorry, guys. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. What made you decide, though, to go for a role in this movie? Was there something specific you about just the... just asked me to be in it, and I said, yes, absolutely. Like, heck yeah. I'll do anything. doesn't matter. Uh, no, this is a really great script. I want to work with it, uh, the director. And um, as I was telling this young gentleman here, I, uh, you know, I did a, a Dark Angel with Richard Gunn, who is a big part, and he sort of got me involved. He said, do you want to do it? And I said, yeah, sure. Very nice. So where can viewers find you in the future? Are you working on any other projects? Yeah, I did an independent film. It'll be out in December, and I'm doing a lots and lots of bad television. Like what? We want to know. We love bad television. Now, now that I've said bad, I'm not going to say anything. No! <laughs> I'm sure it's not bad. You bring some life to any show, I'm sure. Look at you. I Look can at you. I can see that. Look at you. Name's not on there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Look at you, Good girl. improv. Good improv. <laughs> yes, I just, I have to ask, because you are interesting. You're an interesting interview. What, what made you decide acting and how did you get your start? I kind of fell into it. I didn't, uh, I didn't think I was going to be an actor. I hadn't seen a play till I was 21. Uh, I had, I just sort of fell into it, and then I uh, on a on a lark kind of went went down to New York from Canada and auditioned for a drama school called London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. I got in, and that's where I decided, oh my God, I may try this. Uh, and I got everyone saying, you'll never work, you'll never do, uh, I, you know, it's a lost cause. And you know, I've been at it 25 years, so it's been great. So. I'm sure any actor would love to emulate that type of career. It's all about working, baby. So that's it. It's all about working. Being in the moment, right? Yes. I'm in the moment. I have to remember that. Yeah. You are in the moment. We appreciate you taking this moment out. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the film. Yeah, thank you, Star Watch.